Welcome to this short CalRTA tutorial. My name is Sue Breyer and in this video I'm going to show you how to link a word or a photo in a document to an outside source like a website. I'll also show you how to link to a document or a resource in your Google Drive. So let's get started. As you can see I've got two items open here on my computer screen. Now on the right hand side I have Google Chrome opened up and I have a few tabs up here that are ready to go so uh, that'll provide me with some easy access. On the left here you can see I have a document on Yosemite National Park and this document includes a photo that you can see here, uh, a few paragraphs of narration and a, a few items here that are in bold lettering. I'm going to show you how to link not only this photo that you see to an outside source, but also the words that are in bold. Each of those items, when they are linked, will take the reader to additional information that's going to provide them with more details. So let's start with the words that are in bold print. So I want to link the first set of bold words, Yosemite National Park, to a website on the internet, in this case, the National Park Service page for Yosemite. But first, I need to go to the website I want my reader to access. Now, as I said, I've already done some research and I found the sources I want to link, and those are in the tabs up here at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, the first tab, which is nps.gov, and that's going to take me right to the National Park Service website for Yosemite. Now, to link these three words over here in my document to this particular page, I need to copy what we call the URL at the top of the page. That's this little address up here. Now, to copy that, all I need to do is to click on it. I've got my mouse and my cursor, and I'm going to click on it. You can see it turns blue. I'm going to then right-click, and I'm going to select Copy. And now you can use your keyboard and you can press Control C, or if you have a Mac, you can press Command C, and it'll also copy uh, the item that you wish. Now I'm going to go back here to my document and I'm going to click right next to the words that I want to link. So I'm going to link these three words. I'm going to hold down my left key and I'm going to highlight the three words until you see uh, that they turn gray. Now I'm going to release that and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click link. This window will open up and in the place in the box here that says address, I'm going to click left then right to paste and I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that the words I wanted to link have turned a bright blue and they are also underlined. That indicates here that I have been successful in um, linking this page here to, these, to my document. Now if you want to make sure that this uh, has been linked accurately, you can check on it by simply hovering your cursor over the blue words. And as you can see, a little menu pops up and it's telling me to hold down my control key. You're going to see a little hand appear and to click on the link. Well, let me try one more time. There we go. And it is taking me successfully to my Yosemite page. So that's that worked successfully. Let's get out of this page and we'll go on to the next item. I'm going to follow that same procedure to link this set of bold uh, words and the following one after that, just to reinforce what we've learned. So my second item is Bridal Veil Fall. Now, once again, I need to go to the website first, okay? So I've already got this tab open. I'm going to click on my tab. And here is a page for Bridal Veil Fall. I'm going to link this page to these words over here. 
Once again, I'm going to go up to the top where the URL is and I'm going to click. It will turn blue. I'm going to right click with my mouse and I'm going to choose copy. Once again, you can do control C or command C. I'm going to go back to my document. I'm going to click my cursor right here and then I'm going to hold down my left click and highlight until it's gray. I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to right click and click link. In the address bar, I'm going to click in here to make sure my cursor's there. Right click and paste. And then I'm going to go to OK. It too has turned blue. And I can check to make sure that this is accurate by hovering over the words. It's telling me to control and to click. Notice the hand is there. And yes, it's successful. It's taking me to Bridal Veil Fall. And by the way, you can see that these have turned color. There's, they're not blue. If you click out of your document or you save your document afterwards and then you go back to it, they will be blue. So don't worry about the fact that they have changed colors. So let's do this one more time. I'm going to go down here. I want to link to an outside source to this NPS app. So let's go over here. And I do have a tab open for the NPS app. Okay, so I'm going to link this page to these words. I'm going to go up, click on the URL, right click, copy. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to highlight these words until I see the gray. Right click, link. Paste it into the address bar and click OK. All right, so I've got three links. I'm not going to take any time to, to check this one, um, but I'm trusting that it'll work. And again, you can always check if you need to. OK, finally, I want to link my photo to an outside source, just like I did with these, uh, these bold words here. So let's link to Britannica, uh, which is a website that's going to provide my, my readers with a little more history about the park and, and uh, some pertinent background. So just as before, I'm going to uh, go to the source first. So over here, um, I have Britannica saved up here in my tabs as you can see here. And uh, the photo here is actually very similar to the photo over here. So when I link this page to this photo, when my readers are reading this little article here, and if they click on the photo, they're going to be taken to this page. So I'm going to follow the same procedure that I did before. I'm going to go up here to the URL, and I'm going to click on it until it turns blue. Right click, copy, just like I did before. And again, you can do Control C or Command C. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click on my photo. Okay. Now you might see uh, some little dots open up. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's not, not a problem. You're going to right click and you're going to see a menu open up. And just as before, you're going to find that link the link. Click link, same as before, the address. And I'm going to left click and I'm going to paste that URL in there, as you can see, for Britannica. And I'm going to click OK. Now remember when we checked these links by hovering over them and you saw that little box open up? You can do the same thing with the image now. So if I hover, notice down in the lower right there, you can see that uh, a little address opens up. And if I press the control key, I can click on that. Sometimes it takes a couple times, and there it takes me to my Britannica site, just like I wanted it to. Now, let me show you another way to create a link to an item that is not on the internet 
on a web page. So if you have a Google account, okay, and you do, if you have Gmail, if you use Gmail, uh, even if you don't use Gmail, you can sign up for Google for free. You can add an item to your Google Drive, and then you can link it from there. So here is how it's done. Now, I'm going to move this over. Come on, there we go. I'm going to move this over. And I have, as you can see here on my desktop, I have a photo um, that I took on vacation of uh, Half Dome. And in my little article here on Yosemite National Park, notice that down here I have uh, Half Dome mentioned. So I actually would like to link my own picture that I took to the words here. I have these words linked to my picture. Now, in order to do that, I need to uh, put this photo into my Google Drive. So this is how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I've got my Google open, and over here in the right-hand corner, I see uh, my little Google Apps icon. And I'm going to click these little nine dots, and I'm going to go to my Drive. And I'm going to open my drive. Now I've got to find where I want to put this photo. So I have a lot of stuff here, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to put it down here for in my vacations folder. So I'm going to open that. Let's just stretch this out just a little bit. I'm going to take this photo right here, and all I'm going to do, I can drag it and drop it right in here. Okay, if I want to, or I can right click my mouse in here and see where it says file upload. I can find it on my computer, it's on my desktop, so I can click there, and there's the photo. I like to drag and drop. I find it a lot easier. So I'm just simply going to hold down my left click on my mouse and I'm going to drag it right into the middle. It's uploading as you can see here. And there's the photo. Now these are folders. I don't want to put it in there that might get lost somewhere. Okay, so now I have my photo in my drive. Let me scoot that over. And I'm going to rearrange these just a little bit. Okay, so remember, half dome, That's those are the two words that I want to link to this picture. Now, if you can see right here in the upper right-hand corner of the image, you're going to see three dots. When you click on those, it says share. That is one of the options that you can you can use here. So you can click share or copy link one or the other i'm going to go ahead and just copy the link it says down here that the link has been copied i'm going to highlight the words just like i did up here i'm going to right click my mouse and i'm going to link and then I'm going to click in the address bar, paste, and click OK. And look at Now that's linked. Now something that you're going to have to remember, though, when you share something in your Google Drive, you have to make it public. In order to do that, Click on the three dots. When you get to the share, just click share before I copied the link. This time go into share just to double check. And you're going to go down here to general access. And as you can see, right now that photo is restricted. Only people with access can open with the link. They have to be given permission to access that photo. Otherwise, they're going to get a message that says it's 
it's private, it's restricted. To change this setting, and this can be done with anything that you link in your, in your Google Drive, click the down arrow and simply go down here and change it from restricted to anyone with the link. And now viewers of this file can see comments and suggestions. They're a viewer. Anyone with the link can see it. And then you can click done. Okay. So now let's close out of this and see. Oh, we'll just click here. And we'll move this over. Let's click on Half Dome and see if it takes us to the photo. I'm going to hold down my control key. Click on it. There's my photo. Okay, so that works. Okay, they can view it. They can't edit this, but they can view it. So I'm going to X out of that. And that's all there is to creating and linking photos and words to an outside source, including your Google Drive. Thank you for spending some time with me, and we'll see you again.